مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم بدرس جديد. Hello and welcome to a new lesson all about food and drink in Lebanese and we're gonna learn how to use the verb to want. الاكل والشرب. Firstly, when we want to use to want in Lebanese, it's actually not a real verb. It's what we call a pseudo verb or something that behaves as a verb. So, badde actually means it is within my liking that because it's composed of the ba preposition and then it's Presumably it came from be with the, it is within my liking that. So it's not actually a um, verb as in English language or other languages. So commonly we say, Anna, Baddi, so in the first person. And just be mindful, I've put that in red, that it's a double D because the dal in Arabic is geminated. So Baddi, not Baddi. Bad de. So we're doubling um, the letter, and you can actually see the gemination sign in Arabic over here. So bad de. We can actually slice it into two sections. Bad de. Together. Bad de. Nahna bad na. Bad na. Inta bad dak. Inti bad dik. Into badkon. Huwe baddu. Hiyi badda. Now, for this one, badha, there's actually the ha uh, pronoun, but we say it quickly as badda for short. So often you're not going to hear the ha sound in Lebanese, like maybe in Jordanian or other dialects. So, hiyi badda. Hinni, same thing, baddun instead of baddun, for example. So, baddun. So, we are disregarding the ha sound, which you might hear in other Levantine dialects. So, one more time. In Lebanese, that's what you need to know. Ana baddi, nihna badna, inta baddak, inti baddik, intu badkun. Huwi baddu, hiyi badda, hinni baddun. For example, baddi mai. I want water. So you, obviously you can use baddi plus a noun, baddi mai, uh, or you can use baddi plus a verb uh, in the present tense, like I want to eat. Baddi ekul, that's with a verb. Baddi asir, min fadlak. So we add, obviously we can add the please at the end. So here it's with a noun. So we can say من فضلك for a male. من فضلك for a female. إذا بتريد, إذا بتريدي, لو سمحت, لو سمحتي, and so on. So um, unlike in English, you wouldn't normally say, I want something that would be considered rude. But in Lebanese, it's perfectly fine. We don't really say, I'd like to have something. There's, it's just straightforward. You say, I want to. And obviously, you add a, a please or something like that. Le'ihib al-ta'am. Le'iha is a list in Arabic. Le'iha. Ta'am is the formal word for akil, for food. Hence, the food list. Le'ihib al-ta'am. Or the menu for short and obviously we use the word menu in Lebanese khibiz bread jej chicken jej lahmi lahmi meat with the ha sound so not lahmi 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 samak fish Shorba, and you might know uh, mashroob is a drink, or shurb is uh, something that you drink. So shorba means soup, and it comes from that as well. Fweki, fruit. Fweki. Salata, with the emphatic ta. Salata is salad, 
khudra with the emphatic da, like when you say, for example, double in English, but with a more emphatic sound, khudra is uh, literally greenery because it comes from akhbar, which is the color green. So khudra, vegetables. Jibni, cheese, jibni, asir, with the sa, like when you say somebody, sunshine, with the emphatic um, sound, asir, asir. Mai is water in standard Arabic, ma, but in Lebanese it's mai, mai. Shai is tea, shai. Ahwe is coffee. Ahwe, notice how we change the qaf in Lebanese to the glottal stop ah. That is if you're able to read the Arabic letters. Often we swap uh, some uh, letters for other letters, some sounds for other sounds. So we can use um, the tips over here. Baddi, I want, for example, baddi khibiz. Khibiz u shorba, so we can use the conjunction and u. Baddi khibiz u shorba. And we can use aw, which means o, aw ma, which means with. So for example, baddi djej aw lahmi. So I'd like, um, or I want, uh, chicken or uh, meat. Baddi djej ma khudra. I want chicken with vegetables. And if we're asking someone, have you got something or do you have something? Andak khibiz, andak samak. عندك ماي obviously عندك addressing a female and uh, as I mentioned not only بدي is not a real verb so عند over here is actually an adverbial of place and time and it literally means at so I'm asking is there at yours something so we don't really have verb to have within this context uh, normally we use the adverbial uh, عند so, عندك, عندك. And uh, obviously, when you want to ask for the bill, الفاتورة, الفاتورة, the bill, or you can say الحساب, which literally means the check or the tab. الحساب. لو سمحت, لو سمحتي, إذا بتريد, إذا بتريدي, من فضلك, من فضلك, please, and so on. And obviously, you can say شكرا, thank you, Islam. وجبي. Now we're going through the meals. Wajbe is a meal. Wajbe. Wajbet in the plural. Wajbet. So, il wajbet raisigi. The main meals. Raisigi. Like when we say, ana uh, libnaniye. I'm Lebanese. So, that's just a suffix at the end. So, the main. Rais is actually main. And it, it could also mean a president. Like when we say, Rais libnan, the president of. Uh, Lebanon, so the main uh, person, literally over here, the main meals. And sometimes you'll come across uh, the word tabak, or tabak, if you're pronouncing the qaf in standard and Arabic. So if you look at a menu, you will find the main dishes, literally. Tabak is a dish. We pronounce the qaf again as a glottal stop. Tirwi'a is breakfast. Tirwi'a. Again, the qaf changes to ha. Tirwi'a. Tirwi'a. And we also have the verb bitrawa. I have breakfast. We'll come to that later. Ghada. Ghada, lunch. Ghada is lunch. And in standard, it's ghada. But we have dropped the hamza in um, Lebanese. So it's simply ghada. Ghada, but if in written Arabic, you'll come across it like that. Same thing with, with um, dinner. It's the same. So asha. And in standard, it's asha. But in Lebanese, asha. Asha. Dinner. Tirwi'a, ghada, asha. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, Rada starts with the Ra, Rada, versus A, Asha. So just pay attention to your dots. The Ra has the dot on top. The A doesn't have any dots on top. 
a light snack or a light meal. So we know wajbe is a meal. Khafif means light. It's an adjective meaning uh, light. So wajbe khafifi, a light snack. A feminine noun with a round ta, which is a sign of femininity, and typically nouns that end with a round ta have the sound a or e. For example, hiyi doktora. You hear that ah, she's a female doctor. Oh, she's a female doctor, even if you can't see uh, the word in writing. Hiyi ma'almi. Ma'almi, she's a teacher. Eh, so you hear the eh sound, you know it's a feminine noun. Same thing with wajbi. Eh, feminine noun. So the adjective is going to take the round ta. So wajbi khafifi. Feminine noun, feminine adjective. A light snack. Starters or appetizers, المقبلات or المقبلات. So depending if you're pronouncing it as قاف or uh, glottal stop. Starters, المقبلات. الحلويات, desserts or sweets. الحلويات, desserts or sweets. And um, by the way, sometimes we say el hello for short. El hello. So both are fine. Drinks, el mashrubet in the plural. So mashrub in the singular, el mashrubet in the plural. And obviously, just um, giving an example here that sometimes. We have a lot of words that are that either come from English or are uh, similar to English, like salata sounds like salad, kind of. Omelette over here, omelette. It has a, an Arabic name which is ajji, but we also use the word omelette uh, because you know uh, Lebanese is infused a lot with um, English and French pizza, pizza, sandwiches, sandwiches. It became uh, Arabatized or something like that. So sandwich it. Uh, burger is the same. Burger. Okay, over here you have bayd and bayda. Bayd means eggs as in a collective noun. Bayda, when we add the round ta over here, it means a single egg or an egg. It's like when, when I say khiyar, cucumber, but akalt khiyara, I had. Uh, one cucumber. Or oh, akel tijaj, I had chicken. But if you say akel tijaj with a round ta at the end, that would mean I ate a chicken, one chicken. But that doesn't apply to everything, but generally speaking. I eat eggs for breakfast. So bekul, using the simple present because it's Something that I routinely do. So we say bakul, not ekul. Bakul plus the ba prefix bed. I eat eggs for breakfast. Aat terwi'a or ala terwi'a. is basically a contraction for ala. Terwi'a, breakfast. And we use the alif ram definite article because when we're speaking about general stuff, uh, normally we use definite nouns. In Arabic, riz with jaj, rice and chicken. Bakul riz with jaj al ghada. So I eat rice and chicken for lunch. Salata. Bakul salata al asha. Or al al I eat salad for dinner. And uh, obviously, we have the verbs. Bitrawa, bitghada, bitasha. That means I have a breakfast, I have. Uh, lunch, I have done. I'm going to write them down for you quickly. So, bit, what? In the simple present, I have uh, breakfast. Bit, asha. I have uh, dinner. Bit, gadda. I have lunch. Bit, gadda. Bit, rawa. Bit, gadda. Bit, asha. Um, 
useful vocabulary to know. The uh, fwiki, fruit, moors, banana, the fair, apple. One banana would be mouse. One apple would be fair with a round ta. Fraise from the French uh, word, strawberry. Batik, watermelon. One uh, watermelon would be batik with the round ta. Shamem, the sweet melon, the yellow one. And one would be shamemi, shamemi with the round ta. Njas, pear, and one of it will be njasa. Mishmush, apricot. Mishimshi is one. Khokh, plum. Khokha is one. Ananas, we don't have a singular for that. We just say ananas. Same thing for kiwi. Kiwi. Uh, this one we pronounce it as birdan. The standard word is burtuqal, but in Lebanese it's birdan. Birdan. And one of it is birdani, an orange. The ra for peach with the a glottal stop. The ra, the ra a in the singular. Al khudra, vegetables. Basal, basli in the singular. Tum, we can say tumi, wahde. But normally we just say tum. Batata, banadura, tomato. Jazar, jazra is one. Kusa, zucchini. Kuseyi in the singular. Khiar, cucumber. Khiara in the singular. Betanjain, eggplant. Betanjaini in the singular, Arnabit, cauliflower, Arnabita in the singular, Flayfli, pepper, collective noun as well, Flayfli. So in this case, it doesn't necessarily mean one, it could be plural or it could be singular. Chas, lettuce, and you can say chassi for one uh, uh, head of lettuce, Malfouf, cabbage, and Malfoufi for a singular. Head of cabbage. Now, how would you say cheese or a toast to your health? Bisahtak to your health. Bisahtak addressing a male. Bisahtik to a female to your health. And when you want to say bon appetit, we have the word sahten, which means two times to your health, because saha means health, so sahten. And in reply to that person, you should say. Ala elbak literally means on your heart. So right back at you. Or I wish the same for you. So ala elbak addressing a male, ala elbik addressing a female. An activity for you, write your weekly shopping list in Arabic. So we said le'iha is a list, le'ihat mushtarayat, things that you by literally in the passive participle over here um, or we can say قائمت المشتريات so قائمة ولائحة are the same the synonyms قائمت المشتريات أو لائحة المشتريات is the shopping list or literally the things that you buy list so that's an exercise for you activity number two write your own menu in Arabic so make your own menu. هذا كان كل شيء لهذا الدرس. So هذا كان كل شيء لهذا الدرس. This was everything for this lesson, and we will continue with more useful vocabulary in the next. Merci وشكرا لكم.